Joe, tell us a little bit about what's happening with Joe nowadays. <clears throat> I'm playing record company and producer, and I'm really excited about this because uh, what I've done is, uh, uh, you know, in 1968, I put my first record label together. But since then, Mando, uh, this is a record company with all the departments, and uh, uh, this company belongs to my kids. They're all in their 20s, and these are the uh, guys that are going to run Tejano Discos. And uh, I have uh, five groups including myself that we're starting our company with and we're real excited about Campanas de America and Mariachi de San Antonio because these guys have left the traditional mariachi behind uh, they're doing a salsa country and uh, we're really excited because our distributor Rodman's has already uh, started promoting them on a worldwide scale to South America Central America and Mexico y, uh, and van para Japón en octubre this is their second uh, trip to Japón so these are really really hot uh, uh, young musicians of San Antonio and of course uh, uh, it's a big challenge for me to uh, to uh, uh, get something of this magnitude off, you know, because we're talking worldwide. And, exactly. And you know, uh, Armando, how long I've been pushing for uh, Musica Tejana to go internationally and worldwide. Exactly. Quick, long story quick, uh -huh. in 1985, uh, I had to force my way into the major labels. Uh, since then, we have over 100 X uh in, in different uh latin divisions of different record companies exactly. it's come a long ways but we still have such a long ways to go you know we still need to get into the motion pictures uh we need to get into uh tv sound tracks exactly. just so much to do we need a lot of visibility that we're not getting yet and i think musica tejana is going to help crack that barrier so that we can exactly. all get recognized i really think so and especially con artistas como tú de tu magnitud you know because you're a, you're a, i mean really a living legend you well, know thank you, I I really say that the the lo, lo, de veras que lo, I really mean that. And uh, one thing I wanted to ask you is the hablando de mariachis, no? You recorded a song that, as a matter of fact, that right now is the in uh, el uh, puro tejano TV show. It's uh, at number three. ¿Qué pasó? Gonna, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó la última vez? That great song con Thank mariachi. You. Tell Thank me you. about that song. How did that come about? Uh, that song was written by a friend of mine, Jose Garza Rodriguez, and I recorded that when I was living in California. I recorded that in Hollywood, as a matter of fact. Uh, Johnny Rocky and I did it with my band, but I always wanted to come back and do it mariachi. En gracias a Dios, uh, uh, las cosas a mí no me pasan hasta que es tiempo. And this is a great timing for the uh, for the uh, for this song. We haven't even started our distribution and promotion in Mexico, and already we got it real hot in Monterrey. And we haven't even I don't know how it got there because we haven't started uh, uh -huh. our promotion down there. But uh, uh, it has really opened some doors for me uh, that weren't there before. And uh, this is exactly why I had to go independent because. Uh, all these years and all the work I've done, the major labels would not take advantage of that, you uh -huh. know. So now I'm getting played in Puerto Rico where they had never even sent wow. records, you know. Wow. So we're we're real excited about what's happening. Y, y que pasó grabada con mariachi really opened up some doors for me that uh, uh, the material just wasn't there. Yo era que llegó, it fits the uh, programming. Exactly. So, gracias a Dios, it's exactly. working really well. Uh, a través de los años, I meet these kids. They're mm -hmm. full of talent and ambition, but there's never any uh, outlets for them, you know. Se pasa el tiempo and nothing happens to them, no careers. So I'm selecting some really young kids like J.R. Ramos, who's 10 years old, exactly. accordionista. I've heard of him. And he's in the eighth grade. He goes to school all year round. I want to take these kids and, and, and uh, show them to other kids, especialmente los chicanitos, sí. that we have some role models. Y es lo que una de las cosas que más nos lastima uh, es que no tenemos visibilidad. We're not on TV. We're not in commercials. We need to see ourselves on TV to motivate our kids and I want to do this with the uh, record company I want to work with all the children and get them going uh, because no es falta de talento nos, la raza de nosotros tiene demasiado talento lo que yes. no hay es oportunidad correcto bueno y este hablando de, de talentos y todo eso no este I know little Joe you're a, a legend and a lot of artists you know they look up to you te miran como una estrella verdad así bien alta uh, pero you personally who is your favorite Tejano artist I think uh, I, I can't really speak of one particular uh, artist because there are so many. Mm -hmm. uh, I come up from a time when I was uh, lucky to know and, and, and hear Beto Villa, mm -hmm. Valde Gonzalez, uh, Chris Sandoval, uh, Isidro Lopez, uh, y los conjuntos como Tony de la Rosa, Gapito Zuniga, and all oh, these guys, uh, Pablino Bernal. I was a little kid and these guys were helping me travel around the United States. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I see all these young groups that uh, are so full of talent like Ram and uh, Maz Joe and Salina and uh, there are so many uh, so many and uh, these are the the ongoing groups now you should see the coming groups that are that are on their way man uh -huh. that's just really really incredible sin educación no hay futuro y sin futuro no hay más allá so the kids really really we need to push them and stay on them that they stay in school they can do it we just need to help them exactly Mando. 
Mucho gusto. Placer. John, muchas gracias. Amigos, The King of the Brown Sound, Little Joe.